Hey, what's up? It's my review on Lost Planet. Stream condition. Uh, let's press start here. So this game is basically a guy. I think he's trying to get revenge for his father's death or something. So that's the story's kind of lame and cheesy, but I don't know. If you're kind of into lame and cheesy things, then. What's first what you're gonna get? Okay, there's a campaign online. There's still people online, so yeah. There's options, um, records, I guess. Uh, setting. You're basically like in a winter wasteland place. Uh, just want to miss a mission, so I really quick. Um, I beat the game, or basically almost beat the game on easy. Let's just do first mission. Mm, the controls, I guess, they're just run around. You'll see pretty quick the way he, the way it runs. I'll just skip the story thing for now. Um, before each mission you get like a briefing or something, but I just usually don't even care. Um, so yeah, the graphics are really good actually. Uh, the guy runs cool, I guess. Like you can get like a full turnaround. Um, you can get in these things. They're called uh, mechs, I think, or VSs or something. Uh, there's a bunch of them in the game. I think there's like six different kinds or something. Each have their own like characteristic things. Like some can jump really high, some can like glide across the ground. This one really can't do anything. Um, but a cool thing is, as you're walking, if you see like a weapon, you can add it to it, and that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I'll show you what's kind of cool about this guy. He's got like a grappling hook, so he can like grab onto the ice thing and jump up and whatnot. Um, so basically you're fighting these things called acrid and they're like big huge bugs right now these are just kind of like the mini things but as you get going like at the end of each mission there's these huge bosses and that's about probably at the end of every one every mission that you play and that's that's a cool thing about the game because some of the bosses are like huge and usually you're fighting in the mechs or i don't know what they're called but the big machine things. Um, and here's one of the, I guess this is a medium sized one, we could say. Uh, I'll just show you the gameplay for a little bit. And Oh, and you get like a health thing that is always like going down. That's kind of annoying. It's like your energy as you're walking, I don't know if you can see that in the upper corner of your screen, it's like counting down the top left of your screen. It's always counting down your health, but like say you get hit, the energy will get your life back. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I guess they're trying to like do a different approach on your health. I guess. So yeah, the gameplay is basically this the whole time, or uh, or you're in your big machines. That's basically the whole game. Like there's no there's no like driving. I guess you could call driving with your uh, machine thing, but that's about it. Uh, I'll I'll just play around in the game for a little bit more just to show you guys what it's like. Uh, so there's um, Lost Planet Two is coming out pretty soon, so I say give this game a rent or I don't know how much it is now but I'd say play this game before you get Lost Planet 2 if you're deciding to do that this game's really fun uh, there's a lot of weapons I think yeah oh and some grenades are like there's a bunch of grenade types um, some are like sticky grenades some are like there's like a dummy grenade, you throw it and it like blows up a dummy. Uh, and that distracts the enemy and then you can like get up behind him and kill him. 
uh, these these things that I'm doing right now that I'm opening up. This watching your top left, your energy will go up. So usually you gotta get to these points to get your energy going. Uh, and once your energy goes all the way out, your health will just start depleting. So yeah, that's kind of dumb. So uh, yeah, I'd say Lost Planet to or Lost Planet is uh, a good game. Only thing that's kind of bad about it is the way the health goes down. That's the only annoying thing for me. Uh, everything else else about the game is really really fun. I'd recommend it. I give it a seven. Uh, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.